I have had all late. Uh, uh, some spirited uh, discussions in executive session. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, so let's get the meetings done. Thank you. Thank you. Any, go ahead, Mrs. Campbell. 
Um, I'm going to vote in favor of this motion um, because I think it's a good reflection of the leadership that we have in Dr. Andre, um, his instructional leadership, his leadership um, with his um, staff, and um, I think he's a, a great asset to the community, and I think that this uh, motion uh, reflects the, um, the value with which we hold him. Thank you, Ms. Um, this is my right. Um, I would like to concur with what uh, Ms. Campbell said, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Andre for the direction that he's heading our school district and bringing us into the 21st century. Um, I like what I'm seeing in the classrooms. I like the people that he's bringing on board. Um, and we're, I think we're getting the attention of the state and as well as um, nationally with some of the things that we're doing. And I look forward to seeing um, just how far Dr. Andre can take us. I have great expectations. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Wainwright. I would ask if there's any other comments that focused on the motion, uh, not, not into the evaluation portion. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Uh, can I do it? No, I'm in. Going this way again? No. No. Okay, we're good. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We have one nay. All right, thank you. Moving on. Recommendation S 2016-39 of the school committee upon the recommendation of the superintendent approve the administrator's contracts and salaries. So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion made by Mr. So, second by Mr. Odell. Any comments? Let's see, uh, oh, yep, we've got one guy on the It's fixed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We have one. Okay. Recommendation is 2016-40 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent and supportive of the policy and curriculum subcommittee, approve the second reading of the information technology student equipment policy. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Motion made by Mr. Saviano. Okay. Second by Mr. Odell. Comment? See none all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye, seven. Recommendation is 2016-41 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent and supported by the policy and curriculum subcommittee, approve the second reading of the technology resource, resources responsible use policy. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Odell. Second. Seconded by Ms. Campbell. Discussion? See none all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Eyes have it. If you would shut your lights off, if you're not comfortable. Recommendation is 2016-42 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent and supported by the public policy and curriculum subcommittee, approve the second reading of the budget deadlines and schedules policy DCB. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Second. Uh, motion made by Mrs. Saviano, seconded by Ms. Silva. Any comments? Yep, go ahead, Mrs. Um, oh, actually, um, I had communicated my concerns to um, Lynn, and I had not communicated my concerns to Aaron, and for that, I apologize. They're simple um, fixes. We no longer publish the budget in the paper. We just publish the fact that you can find it on the website. So where it says that we're publishing it, in this uh, second reading, it says, I mean, in the um, budget deadlines and schedules, we should probably um, just change that word. Okay. She has a copy of it. Okay. Yeah, I, I checked off. Any, any questions? Yeah, is there a motion to amend? Was, or was that already in? Well, we do put it in the paper, but we don't put the budget in the paper. What we're required to do is put it put in the paper that we have a budget and to refer to the website to see that budget. So we need that's what that needs to reflect. So it's still going in the newspaper, but not. You have to make a motion to amend. 
I move to amend it. Oh, I don't want to do it. No, no, no. So, where it says, um, adopted budget published in newspapers of general circulation, it should say the adopted budget, um, notice of the adopted budget, I don't know, wow, should be published in the paper with reference to the website. And that would be <coughs> 10 days of approval. And Lyndon, you say there were three places? Yeah. Um, Eric does have the copy that I, I had to read our meeting. So she, I checked them off. OK. So I, I don't know if you have it, Karen. She's making a, a Oh, the, adop the adopted budget posted in the Bristol and Warren Town Halls. Do we still do that? Yes. The whole budget? Yeah, I don't want to strike that one. It's the newspaper, the two newspapers. And I don't want to strike it. I just want to strike the way it's worded. Because Pauline told us tonight that it's worded differently. All right, so let's go away a minute for one more time. Notice of the Adopted budget should be published in the paper to refer to the website. Is that accurate? You don't even have to say refer to the website, just it should be published yeah. in the newspaper or general circulation. In the newspaper or general circulation. Because what it has to say in the newspaper is the budget has been approved. Please um, refer to the Bristol Warren Regional School District website. Or wherever else it's posted, because we—that's the same thing that we do with contracts and all those other things. Now we don't post it. So, so Mr. Chairman, Mark, I'm not trying to speak no, for you, ahead. but it, her her amendment is on, on the budget deadlines and schedules. Both sections that say within 10 days of adoption should read. The first one should read: Notice of the adopted budget should be published in the news in a newspaper of general circulation, and then on the second one. It should say notice of the approved budget should be published in the newspaper of general circulation. That's that's the amendment uh, motion to amend Mrs. McBride's making. Okay, motion made by Mrs. McBride, second by uh, Ms. Campbell. Karen, did you get all that? Or? She'll give you the notes <laughs> afterwards. By the way, happy to give it to you. All right. Um, any other discussion? Yeah, no. Mrs. Wainwright. No, I just again Sorry. want to apologize for not catching that. Okay. Ahead of time and not. Thank you. you know, Thank you, Mr. McBride. Go ahead, Mr. Wainwright. I'm confused. I assumed, because of our discussion, that we no longer had to publish it in the paper as long as it was on our website. We have to give notice that it's mm -hmm. So website. we're giving notice that it's in the paper. Right, the on the website. Yes. yes. Okay, any other comments? So I just Go want ahead. to be clear, and Karen probably wants this down, but. So are, are we changing the one when it Same says say 10 days. within 10 days of adoption, and then what about the within 10 days of approval? Same, both of them. So both they'll both read the same. Right. That okay. notice will be published in the newspaper okay. of general circulation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Any other comments? Seeing none, all of that? Aye. All opposed? Now we will vote on the amended motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? And we will vote. Recommendation S 2016-43 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent and supported by the budget facility subcommittee, approve the FY17 preliminary budget. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion made by Mr. Saviano, second by Mr. McBride. Any comments? Seeing none? I have a oh, question. Go ahead. Um, so this, I, I apologize, I got to the budget meeting tonight so um this is the preliminary budget and will we um will we see a more specific breakdown at some point of the cuts that we look at do you know what that will happen for um i don't revenues come in at different times and um so we don't 
get all of our information in by June fir July 1st. The only information we can bank on is what the um, Joint Finance Committee gave us as a budget. How that breaks down will be explained as the monies come in if the state has been known to change amounts that they give us. There's all kinds of, we don't know yet. So, um, yes, you will know that. I promise. Okay, any other comments? All right, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Recommendation S 2016-44 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent and supported by the Budget Facilities Subcommittee, approve an hourly rate increase for legal services provided by BRCSCM, Vernon Recupero, Cashion, Stungio, McAllister, LLP. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Second. Uh, motion made by Mr. Savion and second by Ms. McBride. Discussion. I, I'm just going to pull this chain a little. Um, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I didn't know you could pay. I thought this was pro bono. All right. I just don't know a lot about this, so I'm wondering if you could just give me a little background. Basically, uh, up until now, it's. Uh, I think the last time it's been up here, it's been five years. Do you want to go through the amount? Actually, we it, It's basically a $15 uh, increase um, per hour, uh, the rate that it, uh, has been charged uh, by that company. And the flat rate went up to $10. Any other questions? It was approved by the budget subcommittee. Hoping that we could skate under the radar, but anyway. Okay. That's what it is. All right. Any other comments? All right. All in favor? Aye. All, right. all opposed? Aye, sir. Recommendation is 2016-45 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, supported by the budget facility subcommittee, accept bid for district-wide controls update. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion made by Mrs. Saviano, second by Mrs. Silver. Any comments? Can someone, can someone just explain what district wide control upgrades are? George? <laughs> it's basically asset to tell. Go ahead, George. District wide controls is, uh, is EMS, energy management system, throughout the entire district and all of the schools being in line and having the same control system. You earned your money tonight. Thank you, George. All right. Uh, any other comments? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye, sir. Recommendation is 2016-46 that the school committee, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, supported by the budget facility subcommittee, assign the fund balance amount to be determined. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Motion made by Mrs. Saviano, second by Mrs. McBride. Any discussion? So, upon approval of this, do we assign to which balance it will be placed? If we do have a balance, to where the, the balance will go? To which line item? I believe it's going to go to capital accounts so uh, I just, once that becomes okay. available. Yeah. All right, any other comments? Seeing that so, well, John, should we amend that motion to say capital products or no? No. No, zip it. I'm done. Okay, we'll wait until uh, at a time to be determined. When we have the amount, uh, <coughs> at that time we'll talk about where it's going. Go ahead. Go. Right, I, I think it needs to be emphasized, Mr. Chairman, that right now there is not an amount. We don't know what that is yet, if there really is an amount. Anything over a dollar and a quarter. Yeah, it's over a dollar and a quarter. Okay. <laughs> Any other comments? According to Gatsby, that's what we're doing. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Going into subcommittee, subcommittee reports, school committee reports. We'll start with budget, Ms. McBride. No, I think we did enough tonight. Okay, <laughs> that was good. How about policy? Um, our, thank you. 
our, our next meeting is Monday, August 1st at the Oliver Administration Building on State Street in Bristol. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, personnel contract negotiation, Mr. Silva? Uh, there's nothing uh, to report at this time, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir. Uh, wellness Committee? There's Thanks, nothing sir. to report at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay, for sure. <laughs> and uh, Chairperson's initiative, I think I'll continue that, that tradition and have nothing to report. Can I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion made by Ms. Saviano, second by Ms. Viral and Pepper. Aye. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, to those that are additions to our school district, uh, thank you so much for being here. Welcome aboard. Um, and to Nick, who successfully uh, made it through our program and is moving on to Rod Williams University, uh, we have a gift card, a thank you card, and a calendar uh, for all the work that you've done for the years, my friend. And we're doing that not because your father's here. <laughs> Thanks, guys.